Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm here with Lakeitha White, Senior Manager for Ad Advocates for Customer Experience at NSO in Jefferson City, Missouri. I wish I could be there with you. And in fact, it's been a little too long since I've been there in person, but I used to go a couple of times a year and I used to know every detail about what was going on there. But today we're so privileged to have uh, Lakeitha give us the tour and talk a little bit about what does actually happen in Jefferson City. You know, it's, it's uh, the heartbeat of Scholastic is in NSO in Jefferson City because uh, all the wonderful books and creative material that we produce, and there are three or 400 million units <laughs> of material going out every year from NSO. We, we get them there, we, we create them, produce these books and, uh, and educational material. Uh, we print them, we send them to NSO, but until we get the order and until it goes through our processes, and until it gets in the box, and until it arrives in the classroom and the child uh, sees the book that he or she has picked, that experience hasn't happened yet. It's all mm -hmm. about that last minute when, the, when we're able to ship the book and get it there and get it into the hands of that child who ordered that book remembering that there are several hundred million of these going through NSO every year. It's just an amazing uh, part of the company and, and uh, uh, without it, it's like it's the last mile of, of uh, delivery. It's the last connection with the individual child. And so that's why what goes on there is so important to all of us. And it's also fun and fascinating and interesting. And we're just about to hear from Lakeitha, you know, how does it all work? So uh, tell me a little bit about what you do, Lakeitha, for the benefit of everybody listening. Absolutely. So I'm the senior manager for Advocates for Customer Requirements. And I've been recently promoted to this new role where we look at the quality of processes from beginning to the end, from the moment that the order even is key to the moment that is on the trucks, trailers, getting to those students. And we just make sure look at the quality of it to ensure a smooth process. Um, oftentimes we have to, you know, troubleshoot things and escalate different situations with orders, with customers who um, not receiving their products or anything. So just being there and able to get to the end result of those children getting those books is a, a passion of mine and I really enjoy it here. That's great. Well, uh, and you know a lot about it, and we're going to hear a little bit of, about it from you as you tour through uh, the operation and tell us what goes on there. But, uh, you know, we've, uh, this has been a particularly amazing year. Every year is an amazing year in NSO. Every year. <clears throat> every, every, every day, every hour of every year. Yeah. But this year has been really, really uh, demanding and difficult, and we've done an unbelievable job of uh, handling both COVID and uh, safety for our employees and also uh, getting all these books into the hands of kids, e even shipping to the home in this, this year. So uh, it's, just, it's so, just so important. So t tell me, what do you think is the most important part of it all? You talked a little bit about the coordination and the following it through the process. Uh, and the care with which we do it. But uh, w how do we manage this year under these very difficult uh, circumstances with COVID and the safety and, the s and worrying about the employees and worrying about the masks and so forth and so on? How, how, did, how do we do all that? So with COVID, we actually had to be very careful um, and monitor that appropriately. We built additional fulfillment areas and we set up plastic barriers, isolation barriers throughout uh, the location to provide appropriate distancing within each person. We try to keep that limitation of not having large group meetings or things and that's such. So that's why we do Teams or um, Google um, meetings now. Also, we have to have very effective cross training um, to allow our employees to go where um, the work is at. And that may change day by, you know, day to day or even hour to hour. Um, to date, I believe we have provided over 70,000 masks, 13,000 pairs of gloves and 1,200 gallons of hand sanitizer, which is really 
a lot, but I think it's pretty awesome that we were, you know, were we able to even do that for the employees here, even myself. So each day when you come through the door, you actually have to, you know, grab a mask and do temperature, um, check your temperature and, you know, get to work. It's amazing. You know, uh, also, uh, not only are we picking, pack, picking, packing book club books, but we're also doing trade where we're shipping, yeah. shipping books to bookstores. We're doing these elaborate packages of educational materials, including grab and go packs, which uh, were individual packages of four books that were s sent to uh, LAUSD, uh, Los yeah. Angeles, or to uh, 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 Tennessee, or in many, many other places, the state of Connecticut. We had these grab and go, which were a feature of where the kids could get the books and take them home. Uh, but we're also uh, getting customer service calls. So uh, our 800 number is used by millions of teachers calling in to find out, you know, not only where is my order, but how can I order more efficiently or what books do you have that are gonna free for th this child? And all kinds of questions that come there. Some of them are, you know, complaints about the different things we didn't do well, but we fix those. Uh, Absolutely. And we, we never question the teacher. We always say, okay, we'll send it to you. And that has built up loyalty among our, our teachers. So uh, tell us a little bit more about what we're going to see today uh, <clears throat> as, as you take us on this tour. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to start at the beginning in customer service. And this is so you all can see how order progresses through receiving, picking, and packaging, and fulfillment until it gets loaded to our trailers. So I would like to actually show you that. And um, I think it's going to be amazing. Are you ready? Ready to go. Awesome. Let's go, Dick. Escholastic. Our customer service team values their partnership with customers and strives to provide the best possible service. Whether it's finding the right product, placing an order, or answering a concern, our customer service professionals want to ensure a positive experience. Our representatives are well trained in our products, systems, and processes. They take an accommodating approach and as empathetic listeners who are great at communicating and solving problems. They are ready to help customers achieve their goals. Customers are supported by teams centered in both Jefferson City and Neosho. My name is Pamela Schulte. I've been with Scholastic for about 10 years. Um, I work with digital products and helping our customers with technical problems, relaying that information to our STS team um, to help resolve their issues, and I also help process orders. My name is Cindy Backus. I've been with Scholastic for 28 years. I'm currently the group leader for credit and collections in our accounts receivable department. I mainly assist customers with um, making their credit card payments through our automated IVR system. The Jefferson City team supports the retail and education divisions and manages complex orders that may ship to hundreds of locations or may need to meet very tight shipment windows. The retail team support 112,000 orders with 45% manual. Education supported 998,000 orders with 10% of the most complex orders manually. And not to be outdone, our accounts receivable team at JC processed 1 million checks and over 12 million digital payments last fiscal year. Neosho supports customers looking for order submission, account information, order status, promotions, or other questions for book clubs, Scholastic Store Online, magazines, and book fairs businesses. Neosho has handled nearly 1.3 million customer contacts this year via phone, chat, and email. So combined, our customer service teams responded to more than 3 million customer contacts in just one year. Hi, my name is Jessica Dalton. I work here at the Neosho Customer Service Call Center. Specifically, I'm in the Classroom Magazines department. Here, we work with all different types of educators, helping them with placing their orders, reshipping magazines, and using their online resources. That includes videos, games, and printable worksheets for teachers to better interact with the kids. We offer different types of learning for different types of students. 
Hi there, I'm Cassie. I work with Scholastic and Neosho for almost six years now. I do a little bit of everything in the book fair department, from financials to restock to the Scholastic Dollar Catalog, and I'm also part of the Scholastic Store Online. I've been a trainer for two seasons, and I will start my third season this fall, and I also help us transition to Salesforce. This is a great job with great people and great purpose. Welcome to the bulk storage area of the NSO. Each person in the warehouse has a specific certification for operating each type of forklift. For example, we have reach lifts, order pickers, and swing reaches. Every year, we unload and receive over 6,000 truckloads of product, totaling more than 400 million units. Our warehouse has over 120,000 unique location types that span a variety of sizes, so they can hold a full pallet all the way down to an individual case. We work three shifts a day to ensure that product is moving from area to area 24 hours a day. My name is Paul Hans. I have worked for Scholastic for a little over 42 years. I am a senior forklift operator and I operate what is called a swing reach fork truck. My job is to support all operations of the warehouse and in doing that I store palletized product into the racks as it's received and in turn pull that palletized product out for delivery. Hello, my name is Jerry Wilson. I've been here for 38 years and seven months. My job is to load and unload trailers. Uh, we have a double lift or double pallet forklift we use. Uh, we load pallets two at a time and unload pallets two at a time. That's what my job is. We have three locations for bulk storage here at the NSO, including the Algoa, Robinson Road, and McCarty Street facilities. Our trucks are back and forth each and every day to make sure the inventory levels stay up to date at the facilities where the demand is needed. Our co-workers are engaged daily with our planning groups, both here at the NSO, as well as with our team members in New York, to keep on track and align with business needs. We strive to provide excellent service to all and are willing to put forth the effort needed to keep Scholastic trucking along. Packaging is responsible for the collations that are offered or sold by each line of the Scholastic business. Some of the book club packs you may be familiar with are Wings of Fire or the Goosebump series. Education collations such as summer reading packs or level book room five displays are very popular along with the new pre-K displays that will be launched in June 2021. My name is Carmen Callahan. I work here at Scholastic and Packaging. I've been here around three years. I've been team lead for about six months now. We've been working on the pre-Ks. Uh, we go off the work order. They have a specific placement that they're supposed to be in. We put them in the slip cases and in the precise order, we put them in the boxes and then ship them out to the different places where they go so the kids can enjoy them and hopefully get a lot of learning in. Scholastic is a very fun place to work. I have enjoyed working with all the people here. Uh, great place of employment. Hello, my name is Lori Ruder and I have worked at Scholastics for 15 years. The process we are about to see is the shrink wrap. Uh, in shrink wrap, what we do is we have books that's up on our racks. As we pick these books, they go down a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt takes them to the chopping machine. The blade comes down and it chops the shrink wrap. From there, it goes into an oven and the oven will shrink wrap the books so where they're tight together. Once they get tight together, they will be uh, processed right on down the line. They get a sticker on them, and then they are put into the box. In the box, they will go down the conveyor belt and down to padlocker. The trade business line continues to have the popular Harry Potter box sets and the Harry Potter treasure chest. These are just a few of the popular packs from the various lines of business that are collated in the packaging department. The book club business is often one of the first experiences our customers have with Scholastic. We service the students and teachers directly in their classrooms on our mission to put a book in the hands of each and every child. In 2020, in response to COVID, we have now added a direct ship to home process as well. 
Each year, over 700,000 classrooms nationwide receive our flyers, which are seen by over 13 million children from coast to coast. Over the course of the school year, on average, over 1 million books are received by students and teachers each week. Hello, my name is Joyce Wider, and I've been with Scholastics for 39 years, all of it on the book clubs. We pick the orders and ship to the kids in the schools. These are our order forms. We scan the order form, put the label on the box. That lets us know exactly how many we need to pick and the locations back here, the light lights it up for us. We carry it so we can pack it neatly. We pack it in the box and put it on the line to be shipped out. Hello, my name's Ed Johnson. I uh, work resupply here at Scholastic. I've been here for uh, close to 10 years. What my job entails is that if uh, one of the pickers needs a, needs a certain product, I will get a cart, go to one of these reserves here that you see on the pallets, and I will go get that product, put it in the rack. Hi, I'm Jessica. I've been here at Scholastic for 17 years. Um, for seven of those years, I've been a group leader. Right now I'm working upstairs in the SSO area and in the SSO area we process orders for students. We start off with them on carts, empty. When the pickers are done picking them, they bring them back here to our padlocker area. The people back here in the padlocker area, they scan those boxes and they print off the shipping label. That shipping label gets put on the box, they tape those boxes shut, they ride the conveyor down to the end where they scan them again to a pallet where they get shipped out the door. To fulfill these orders at the NSO, the book club's operation handpicks each and every unit and order through a combination of RF wrist mounted scanning system and an electronic lighted system that conveys parcels throughout our area. Riding nearly two miles of conveyor, the parcels are routed to the setups of our team of nearly 300 people ready to pack these orders. In a single day, these team members can pack over 200,000 hand-picked books into over 20,000 boxes. This year, Book Clubs has shipped over 438 truckloads of orders, carrying 8,700 tons of books. This is the equivalent of trucks lined up for nearly six miles carrying the weight of the Eiffel Tower and books to children across America. The outbound fulfillment area known as WMS, Warehouse Management System, primarily focuses on supplying the retail and e-commerce industry and district-wide literacy and library programs, both domestically and internationally. This will include retail customers from Amazon to small-scale independent bookstores, district-wide literacy initiatives, and parents or grandparents shopping on Scholastic's online store. I'm Laura Schaefer. I've been here at Scholastics for 23 years. Right now I've been in the WMS department for t over 10 years as a group leader. I uh, currently help pick out these books up behind here and I uh, make sure that the quality and the inventory is accurate. Hi, I'm Felerick Colfer. Yes, I did say Felerick. Cool name, huh? I know, I'm one of three in America with that name. But enough about my cool name, let me tell you about some of the cool things I do here at Scholastics. I am a shuttle dock coordinator. I've been with the company for over seven years. One of my many responsibilities is to maintain the Dematic multi shelter and make sure it runs smoothly. The Dematic multi shelter is a machine that stores the bulk of our full casework. It buffers and seeks it down to us by order number. It's like a bunch of tiny little robots working together to fulfill your order. Shipments could require hundreds of full pallets going to distribution centers all across America or a single parcel shipment going directly to a student's home. We also offer value added services to enhance the customer experience, including custom labeling, special delivery instructions, and organized shipments so that when customers receive their Scholastic product, they can easily sort and distribute the contents to their final destination, which is ultimately in the hands of eager readers across the world. Jefferson City houses multiple book fair branches across our two warehouses. Shippable fairs, sometimes referred to as tabletop fairs, are unique to our facility. 
These are fares that are delivered by UPS for various reasons. It may be that the location of the event is too far away from a case fare branch to receive a case delivery. Hi, I'm Amelia Amy, I've been West Classic for 16 years and the group lead for shippable fares. And the thing that I love the most about Scholastic is getting the books to children's hands. We also provide fares for smaller events, such as those hosted by preschools. The Jefferson City branch ships these fares to all contiguous 48 states. Hello, my name is Terry Davis. I'm a senior specialist here at NSO at Scholastic in Jefferson City, Missouri. I've been with this company now for 34 years. I uh, work closely with the training people in both Florida and NSO. I do uh, go through different branches across the nation to help uh, with the training of Class A drivers. Uh, I appreciate this company as they have been part of my family for so long. And I really like working here because I like to see our kids learn through reading and the education that Scholastic provides. In addition, we build and deliver case fairs out of our Robinson Grove facility. In the fall of 2021, our case fair territory will cover the entire state of Missouri and extend into portions of Illinois, Kansas, and Iowa. During the pandemic, we also built and delivered fairs to counties in Northern Arkansas. So that's how the magic happens, Dick, here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I would like to introduce Heath Garvin, who you know. And Heath is our Senior Vice President of Distribution here at the NSO. Hi, Heath. Hey, Lakeitha. Hello, Dick. Hello. Hey, hi, guys. I mean, I, I, we all enjoyed the tour. We had a great tour guide, the best. Uh, and thank you so much for doing that. It was a wonderful tour, and, and I think everybody now knows a lot more about what happens at NSO and how important it is and how, it, and how you manage it all. And of course, uh, you've got uh, Lakeitha, who is our guide, but also senior manager for customer. But uh, we also have Heath Garvin, who is uh, the, the uh, guy who runs NSO and has done so for years and who knows all the pieces of uh, what we do that Lakeith has just shown you. Uh, and uh, Heath, you know, um, we, we've had an amazing year. And uh, one of the reasons we wanted to give this recognition to, to you and, and to Lakeith and to all the thousand people that every day that come in and out of uh, NSO uh, several shifts. Uh, so we got a thousand in the building almost all the time, 24 hours a day, different people. <laughs> but yeah. uh, but it, it, it's ama just amazing logistical triumph of, of not only bringing all these books in there and keeping track of them, hundreds of millions of them, getting them to the right customers, but also thinking about, you know, who is it that we're doing this for? You know, <clears throat> one of my favorite stories on NSO and I know you know this, Heath, and I've said it a lot, but one day I was there and I I was seeing the forklift guy come down and I love forklifts. I think everybody does love forklifts. Um, they're hard to manage though, but I said to him, you know, what what is your job here? What, what are you doing? He said, I'm, <clears throat> I'm helping uh, children learn to read. Mm. That was what he said. It was just the, the perfect phrase. And I, I do think that the, the, many, uh, the many people who work in NSO and in, in other distribution centers that we have, and mainly book fairs, uh, do feel that way. Uh, and I think it's part of, you know, it, it lifts it up a little bit from just being, it's a tough job. I, I've seen uh, these people work uh, very fast, moving all day. And uh, it's, it's a very, very demanding work, especially on the pick pack side. 
uh, and it's, uh, you know, sometimes they, you know, it tires them out and, and so forth, but they, they're driven by this feeling that, you know, they're doing something important. It's not just uh, picking up uh, widgets, you know, the, and putting them in a box. It's something that's going to change a kid's life. And, and that makes it, gives us a sort of a higher vision and purpose of what we do. And I think that does drive us even in our very most difficult days, which we had many of this year. So, yeah. uh, so Heath, I wanted to uh, thank you for all that and, and uh, you know, ha have you talk a little bit about, you know, how did we get through this year and, and uh, what, what do you think uh, we learned from our experience in this very difficult year? Yeah, well, thanks, Dick. Um, it, it's been an amazing year. Um, I, I, I'm speechless every day. Um, it's been a journey from end to end. It's a passion for many individuals that have spent many years here perfecting the process of, of really servicing the teachers, educators, and, and most importantly, the children across the United States and in many foreign countries. It's amazing what uh, we've been able to achieve in this challenging time. But I do want to thank all of our partners, all of the sales reps, all of the, um, the marketing individuals. They've been our inspiration. They've been the ones that have adapted um, to this challenging market and helped us to continue to fulfill those dreams and get high quality books that inspire the next generation um, to read and read as a skill. Because as we know, um, that, is one, that is one of the most important life skills that, that children need to learn. And unfortunately, during the pandemic, we couldn't bring people. We used to run hundreds of tours a year to bring people in, but this was an ingenious idea to bring um, through technology as we've done through the pandemic to all of the employees of Scholastic. And I'm very appreciative for everyone's participation to make this happen. Um, from the, the customer service reps who really uh, handled some difficult calls and, and because of transportation issues, uh, constraints, and it's, it's, it's been a constant challenge. And I, I've really been amazed at how we've handled the customers. And we continue to strive every day to step up to the challenge. Um, and uh, by you supporting us through this and, and the teams in New York, it, it's really helped us maintain our passion. And no, no different than the Lyft driver that uh, pulled down and, and the first response to an answer wasn't, I'm, um, I'm grabbing some inventory. It was, you know, I'm inspiring the next generation to read. That's my role. And, and we've kept focus on that throughout this pandemic. This was an amazing year. Uh, and it, it was a tough year, but we rose to the occasion so many times every day. There's supply chain issues. We didn't even mention those. There's containers that weren't available in China that were bringing the books here. There was uh, West Coast uh, strikes and, and difficulties of unloading stuff. The shortage of trucks and drivers bringing books you know, from the West Coast uh, to Jefferson City. And so, you know, we had all these uh, challenges. And, and we had customers, you know, worried about whether they're going to get their books because they're, they're worried about it for their kids as well. But you know what? We, we produced something unbelievable, plus adjusting to these new forms like the grab and go and the ship to home, which was very new for Scholastic. Uh, but we somehow brought it all off and, and made our customers feel good about us and about themselves and, and the process, uh, adjusting to all these new things that we had to learn, the COVID, the masks, the uh, having to clean out areas of the, of the uh, building, uh, running multiple shifts all day and all night. Uh, it was just an amazing year. And I just want, want everybody there to know through the two of you and through this video, uh, just how much we all appreciated what you did and how amazing it was and how uh, we kept our customer and that child right in our focus. And we did everything we could to get to uh, serve them and to bring them the books that they need so badly. So it was just, uh, it was an inspiring performance. Uh, and we just took it in stride and did it as our everyday work. And, and I wanted to thank the two of you for this great tour and for all, all that you've done. And also the thousands of people that are in Jefferson City every day, uh, many of them 
long service employees who've been doing this a long time, but who just rose to the occasion this year and just outperformed any expectation that anybody could have had. So thank you both and thanks to all who put together this uh, wonderful tour. Uh, it's just a part of Scholastic, the heartbeat, as I say, the last mile, the uh, last person to touch the book before it gets to the child. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, just a great service that we provide for our customers and, and they love us for it. And so thanks to all of you who've done it. Uh, a wonderful feat and a great opportunity to acknowledge what, what you've done and explain a little bit about the miracles you performed uh, and the magic that uh, you talked about. So great story. Thank you so much, both of you. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. All the people there. Okay. Thank you.